Welcome back to Restore Thrive. And today we are talking about neck pain and neck stiffness. Um, but the specific thing that we're going to discuss with neck pain today is how your breathing affects your neck. And so this was confusing for a lot of people because people think, okay, well, I breathe down here, my neck's up here, how is that related? So what we see a lot of is people don't breathe from their diaphragm or their belly. It's called diaphragmatic breathing. That's what we should do. And we should use less of our neck muscles. It's called our, our neck accessory muscles to breathe. So a lot of times with stress or maybe just poor mechanics or a weak diaphragm, our tendency is to breathe from our chest versus breathing out through our belly. And then it makes these muscles in the neck really, really stiff and really, really tight because they are being used to breathe, which is not really what they were primarily designed to do. So um, we've got Patrick here and he's going to demonstrate good diaphragmatic breathing for lots of different reasons with, with different clients, um, again, for different reasons, but today we're specifically talking about how that helps your neck. So if Patrick was struggling with breathing from his chest and from his neck and he's super stiff through his neck muscles and he's having some neck pain, typically we lay people down on their back. Um, you can do this on your side or on your belly. Sometimes I'll call that alligator breathing if, if we get our, our clients on their belly. Um, and that can be helpful because people can feel their belly going into a floor or their bed if they're trying to you know, work on breathing through the diaphragm. But um, today we'll just show you, you know, on, on your back here. So what Patrick is going to do, he's already set up really, really well. So this is his feedback. How much is he breathing through his chest versus how much is he breathing through his belly? So what he's going to do is really try and take a deep breath, pushing the hand on his belly up towards the ceiling, and then he's going to breathe out. And a lot of you have probably already heard, you know, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. There's various reasons why you don't always have to do that, but when I teach diaphragmatic breathing, that is a lot of what I teach. So in through the nose and then out through the mouth, that actually helps calm our stress response too. So I'll usually give people a round of this, like I'll just call them, you know, a minute or two, sometime during the day, a couple times a day, work on this, um, really work on trying to get your brain and your body to relearn how to use that diaphragm. And in this position, we're, we're more anti-gravity. So you might find when you stand, especially if you're a female, no offense ladies, but if you're used to standing and sucking your belly in and then you walk around that way, you're not using your diaphragm to breathe. So your diaphragm is probably pretty weak, just used to being up and, and kind of tight. So um, if you're standing, it may be hard to breathe out if your belly or sitting. So if you lay down, you might find this was the case for me when I started working on this a while back. Um, a lot, it's a lot easier when I'm laying on my back. So again, a round of a minute or two when you do this. Also, like I said earlier, a great stress reliever for us that helps calm our nervous system, our sympathetic nervous system down, which is our fight or flight response. So any questions about that at all, leave us a comment below. 